Hey, what's up guys? Rice Boy here, and it seems like fried rice is what's trending these days, so I'm gonna hop on that bandwagon and show you Rice Boy's versions of fried rice. Let's go. Now we're gonna start with making the eggs. You can have as many or as little eggs as you want, uh, but Rice Boy likes to lean a bit heavy on the eggs because it helps give the overall dish some volume and weight. Note that it's important to beat your eggs in a separate bowl first before putting them into the pan. Now trust me, bowl eggs hit different than pan eggs, okay? Now Rice Boy would totally show you the difference between the two, but Rice Boy is too poor to waste spare eggs on lame pan eggs. Now, for maximum efficacy, you'll want to beat the eggs with chopsticks. If you're not quite at that level yet, you can always substitute it with a fork, but using anything else though would be suboptimal. Make sure you're beating eggs in the upward circular motion so you can trap those air bubbles that expands the volume of eggs once they're in the pan. Alright, sec, I need a bit of help with filming here. Hey, Jin Chang! Li Jin Chang! Alright, and let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and heat up that wok. There you go. Then we're also gonna put down some oil and let that heat up as well. Now let's get that egg down there. We'll just cook it enough so that it's about like 80% done. And then we're gonna take it out and set it aside for a bit. And we'll put it back in later. Now some people like to keep their eggs nice and yellow. But Rice Boy likes to brown his eggs just a little bit for that extra roasted flavor. Now you can do whatever you want with your eggs, but if you're just going to beat your eggs in the pan, you should also consider committing Sudoku. Alright, so now we're going to prep the aromatics. We'll start with the garlic, and we're going to use the same Ip Man technique to remove the shells. And then we're going to mince it just a bit there. For the green onions now, we're only going to use the white portion at the bottom of the stock. The white part of the green onion has much more flavor than the green parts, which is why we're going to separate them for now. And I'm also going to use a chili pepper, just one, for a little bit of kick, not too spicy. Now we're just going to show you the rest of the main ingredients. We're going to be using this cherry blossom shrimp for the main flavor. You can sub this out for any other flavor heavy ingredients like bacon, but there may be extra steps to preparing them. So this is our leftover rice. The reason why you see lots of recipes out there using leftover rice is because you want the rice to be as dry as possible. And I'll show you why later. Now here we have our wok and oil already heated. Let's put all the aromatics in now. The garlic, green onion, chili, and our lovely shrimp. Now the most important thing here is to have the heat on medium or low, depending on your burner, so that the aromatics don't burn. If they burn, it's game over. I mean, go back to boiling water because your fried rice now wants to commit Sudoku. For real though, if they do burn, it's going to make your dish super bitter. So, don't do that. Now that we got that beautiful golden brown on these bad boys, mm, look at that. It's time to put our rice in. Now the reason why it's so important to have fried rice is because it'll allow the rice to just soak up all of that oil that's been infused with all the good flavor from the aromatics, especially from that shrimp. If all you have is just sad, wet rice, all that flavor is just going to bounce right off and cause so much dishonor to the rice's family. And then, well, Sudoku. After mixing the rice real good, it's time to add the soy sauce to season it, as well as to give it some more color. Note that Rice Boy is drilling the soy sauce at the edge of the rice instead of putting it straight in the middle. We do this because there's a bit of sugar content in the soy sauce and letting it touch the wok on its way down allows the soy sauce to lightly caramelize and gives the rice just a bit more of that flavor. Now that the rice is nicely seasoned, let's add in our eggs. Mm. So we're going to add a bit of white pepper here. While the chili peppers gives an underlying spicy aftertaste, the white pepper gives an immediate kick, like right away. They do taste a bit different though, so it creates a different layers of spiciness, which is nice. And then we'll just keep mixing that up there. Make sure everything's nice and loose. If there's any clumpy chunks in that rice, make sure you go ahead and just loosen that up. And then we're just going to do a quick taste test here, just to see how much more we need for seasoning. And it seems like we do need just a bit more soy sauce. And it's one of those processes where you just keep testing it out, see if it's where it's at. And, you know, it's better to err on the side of having too little 
than having too much. So just do a little by little. So now that the rice is almost done, we're going to go ahead and throw in our garnishes, which is the green parts of the green onions. So we'll just dice them up real good and just throw them right in the wok. Go ahead and give them a nice toss and mix them real good. And there it is. We're done. Let's go ahead and just plate these bad boys here. Mmm, look at that. Excellent. Let's see what my boy Jin Chong thinks about this. Hey, Jin Chong. Hey, you like the rice, man? All right, let's try this again. Hey, you like the rice, Jin Chong? Uh, it's really good. It's, it's really good. Good job. That's what I thought. Yeah. And there you have it, Rice Boy's Cherry Blossom Shrimp Fried Rice. If you like how this video smells and want more, be sure to do that like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next episode. Peace.